Hey guys, welcome back to Timbermates. Hey guys. We got a big project on the go. We're gonna make some room in the garage by building a little bit of a lean-to. And we're gonna mill all our own lumber for the entire project. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. This guy looks a little bit rough, but um, we'll cut it open and see what's inside. It's a white pine? Yeah, white pine, 10 feet long. That's 18 inch diameter. I was gonna make some three quarter boards for the roof. That was the plan. Instead of putting plywood on, because plywood's like crazy expensive right now. So yeah. we're gonna make our own boards. Nice safety glasses. Thanks. <laughs> to keep my pretty eyes safe. We'll turn it now. Blade is done. It's just like ripping. <laughs> Instead of cutting it, it's just kind of ripping it. This is the blade we nicked the uh, the big bolts on last time we made a milling video. So we got a couple more cuts out of it, but not very many. Not very many.
about us, but pretty sure there's no sand on it. Okay. We got 12 inches by 14. So out of this, we wanted to get two posts and two six by sixes, seven two by sixes. So I think we're actually gonna end up going one and three quarter to get closer to dimensional lumber size. Yeah. It'll shrink down a little bit bigger than that, maybe one and five eighths, one and a half. So each one of these we'll get two out of. So that means uh, if we need two of them will do three and two of them will do three and a half, so seven inches down. And then we'll still get we'll, what we'll do is we'll take our posts out of the middle, I'm thinking. So we'll cut uh, so we need seven. Oh that's perfect. Yeah. We've got fourteen, so we need seven inches of length to do our two by sixes. And then the other seven we can cut our our, um, our posts out of. So we're gonna do two posts from up here, two posts from down there, and our two yep. by sixes from the middle. Exactly. Okay. Right. So we'll cut the yeah, these. So up. like two by six, two by six. Yep. And then yep, exactly like this, like this. And we'll cut these in half after. Or sorry, six by six, yep. six by six. Yep. Two by six, two by six, two by six, two by six, two by six. Correct. Exactly. You guys got that. Clear as mud. <laughs> Clear as mud.
Pretty close. Then a sixteenth, anyway. Taco's got a bit of a squat on. Okay, so the milling's all done. We have all the lumber now, and uh, I'll show you guys what we're doing. This shed slash garage thing you guys will be getting very familiar with in the coming months. Uh, we have a lot to kind of clear out, but basically what we're doing is building a lean-to off the back of this shed garage um, so we can store stuff like the bikes, um, anything that can stay outside, as well as our tires, the stump grinder, and some other things. And basically when we got gravel in for this next project, we haven't officially announced yet. Um, we made some room back here. And this is where we'll be putting our little lean-to. So that's what we're working on with this project and why we milled up all that lumber today. And so, I guess we will show you guys... Oop, that's really bright. I guess we'll show you guys what we, what we come up with, basically. Um, I'll explain this a bit. 
So these pieces are three quarter inches thick and they will be they will be used as our sheeting uh, for the roof and then we'll put some ice and rain over that and then some shingles on top of that um, should be more than enough plywood is absolutely ridiculous so I figured why don't we mill up just some some thin boards we can put up there and uh, it'll be more than enough for what we're doing here these are six by sixes those will be holding up the whole structure basically and we'll be putting those on these deck blocks step one get yourself a handsome man who knows how to do everything first so what we're going to do to make it easier is build this thing on the ground here and then we're going to use this to pick it up fully assembled and install it and hold it over my head well the posts and everything go underneath it saves a lot of work if you can do it um, on the ground as opposed to like up in the air so we're going to do that build the frame sheet it and uh, hoist it up install it should work yeah. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think we're building. Those of you who don't know yet, I know some people have tuned in to. Hang on. So here's a little sneak peek of materials we have for the big project that we have yet to announce on the channel. Um, some of you know what it is, but for those for those who don't, comment down below and see if you can guess um, what those big pieces of steel are for. Really interested in hearing what you guys think. There's a little sneak peek as well. <laughs> we will be making this announcement probably within the next month or so. Um, since it's more steel. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about it and I think you guys will really, really enjoy this big project we got coming. Let's get on to the build. So I just measured the back of the garage. It's exactly 12 feet wide, but the um, soffit comes down at an angle. I'd like to keep the full width, so we're going to drop down a little bit below the soffit. And um, so right now, this is the board that's going to go against the garage that so we're going to fasten to it. So I'm going to cut this to size. There's going to be one attached to the garage and one as a face of board on the other side. And we're going to build basically a, a rectangular frame of about 10 feet. Uh, by 12 feet wide and then we're going to sheet it. We're going to do it right here on the ground and then lift it up. Yeah. Where's your safety glass? Okay, so we're done for the day. Losing daylight. This is what we got. Looks pretty awesome. And then uh, we'll continue this another day. Fill in these gaps. Put the ice and rain on and shingle it. And then properly fasten these guys. Everything's fastened right now to the side of the buildings too. So She's not going anywhere, that's for sure. But we're done for the day. Gotta get the persuader out. <laughs> Actually, this is... Apparently we're not done for the day. Oh, almost done for the day. Quick <laughs> and dirty, but... Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> 
loud boat out there. Yeah. Finishing up the roof today. This sheeting looks awesome, eh? Yeah. Boom. We have a lean to. Good job, honey. It's a little warm. It's very, very muggy yeah. out. Came out good. First time we actually kind of used only our own milling materials for it. Yeah. Yeah, these are all trees we took down. Looks awesome. It's got the ice and rain over it and the drip edges on the side and then we'll shingle sh we'll shingle it later. <laughs>